how many bottles of beer on the floor. The uh, video I did about uh, just limo getting trashed and uh, me thinking it was a bit excessive. Um, it really was not excessive at all. Not after I saw some of those pictures uh, in the uh, limo forums of vehicles that were way trashed. But, as my luck would have it, I soon would find out just how bad it can really be. So we had this company event that uh, we drove them for, and it uh, turned into uh, how many, let's see, they brought a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so maybe you can see where I'm going with this. And uh, so we got all this alcohol, and in fact, uh, they had, uh, we had multiple vehicles, there were so many people, and uh, we had about 35 people, and they brought a big ice chest cooler for, for each, one of the, um, each one of the vehicles. And, uh, you know, that was all fine and everything. Um, but uh, then we uh, did a kind of a little after-party thing with them, and they had had a lot to drink already. And they were having a great time. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't knock that. So, but they uh, started feeling a little sick. And uh, so one of them mentioned that to me, and uh, I got out the uh, sick bags. And uh, let me show you one of these sick bags. Looks like this. It's a little bag here. Now, I, um, I've got this uh, sick bag here. Now, I've never used one. Uh, I've felt queasy in a car before, but I've never barfed. So, uh, and uh, so, let's see how hard it is to actually take one of these. And what do I have to do with it? Okay, so it's got this uh, strap at the top. Okay, it's just like a regular bag. Okay, I'm getting ready to barf here, and uh, it's got a pretty good, pretty good uh, opening on it. I mean, I could fit it right up here and it'd be fine. Um, so, anyway, barf bag, it's got this nice little lining in it, uh, which uh, helps uh, keep the liquids in. <laughs> anyway, so basically, you barf in one of these bags, you take it, you fold over the top, and it's got these little twist tie things on here, which you fold up uh, around the edges, and it makes a nice little uh, sealed container there. So I can uh, set it there, and uh, actually, it won't fall over because I know this from driving because uh, when uh, we made it to our next stop, we had like three of them full. And uh, none of them leaked out. It was, I was very thankful for that. And uh, we disposed of them in the trash. Actually, one of them, I think, went out the window while we were driving down the road. But uh, I didn't see that. I only heard that they said that they got rid of one of them that way. And uh, I don't recommend that. Uh, this would be worse than a flaming pile of dog shit on your uh, doorstep. <laughs> I can't imagine lighting something like this on fire, placing it on someone's doorstep when it's full of puke. And then, you know, they come out and their instant reaction is to step on it, kind of like the old dog do trick. Uh, that would be just horrible. Uh, it's funny to think about, though. So, anyway, uh, that's, that's all fine and everything. And uh, But I got a lot of people in the car. I got about 20 people in the car, and... So anyway, they, uh, uh, we make another stop and uh, they use the rest of the sick bags. So I only have five on me and uh, I now will carry 10 or 15 of them. I mean, that may sound extreme, but uh, uh, these little bags definitely, definitely help. Uh, I get to the last stop and are uh, about there and they say that one person's really sick and they didn't tell me that they were out of bags and uh, so I get to the last stop I open up the door and uh, it kind of smells like puke in there it's not really that much fun uh, I'm letting them out of the vehicle I'm checking it out and I look at the floor and I'm looking at this big spot I mean it's a big spot 
on the floor and I'm like, somebody missed their puke bag, huh? And the uh, guy sitting there, he looks up at me and he says, well, we ran out of puke bags and uh, so-and-so puked. Uh, it was in a nice pile on the floor, but I didn't want you to see it, so I stamped on it and I tried to spread it out and mash it into the carpet. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know what to think. Uh, I said, okay, okay, well, there will be a cleanup charge for this. And uh, we did charge them a cleanup charge. Uh, this is the first time we've charged anyone a cleanup charge. It, uh, the cleanup charge is 150 bucks. Uh, we cleaned up the puke. So we have these mats in the car that you can pull out and uh, you can clean those up and then you put them back in over the carpet. It's, it's like regular car mats, uh, except they're a lot bigger. And um, I think they're a bit thicker too. And so we, we take it out, uh, we actually have a pressure washer and we tried pressure washing it and we thought that we had it uh, pretty well taken care of. And uh, so we let the carpets dry, we put them back in the car. The car didn't go out for uh, another week and a half. It actually uh, uh, just sat there for, I don't know, 10 days, 12 days. I was getting the car prepped for another run and I'm like, Man, what is the smell in here? It smelled to me like uh, cat pee. I mean, that's what it smelled like. And I was like, this isn't right. Uh, we cannot have a limo smelling like this. And I was trying to figure out, you know, we're going all around with flashlights in the car and bright lights trying to figure out what's causing the smell. Uh, things that can come out like the, uh, the champagne uh, buckets. Uh, they can pull out. Stuff could actually be put underneath them. Uh, I found a wine glass the other day underneath one of those. Uh, somebody had shoved it down in there. I don't know why they had, but uh, anyway, they did. And I wonder if it's something in the carpet. And uh, so we're trying to smell the carpet, but the problem is it smells so strong in there that we couldn't, uh, we couldn't smell uh, one carpet from another. So we pull all the carpets out. And we get them all out on the ground out there, out to where there's a lot more air and everything. We start smelling each one of the carpets. And lo and behold, the one that uh, had been puked on was the one that smelled so bad. I guess that whatever material was left in there uh, fermented and just made this horrible, horrible smell. So not only did we spend, um, you know, two hours cleaning up the vehicle, but we also spent uh, a lot more time working on just this one uh, floor mat and then on top of that now uh, we obviously are not doing something right with uh, taking uh, and cleaning that up so we are now going to have to take the carpet into a professional carpet cleaners and uh, that's going to be more time and money and stuff so it leads me to wonder whether or not $150 charge is really enough I'm, I'm not 100% sure that it is. And uh, I now know why there is, uh, in many contracts for limousine rentals, why there is a per puke fee. So it's not, uh, it's not just a one-time cleanup fee if there are pukers, but there's actually, actually uh, uh, most places will charge per uh, puke. So. Anyway, something that we've learned, and uh, I've uh, learned to carry a whole bunch of these bags. Uh, if you're in the limo industry, these are, uh, let's see, it's uh, SixSaver.com. They're really cheap, and they, uh, they seem to work pretty well. They stay upright, they tie closed, so I definitely recommend those. And uh, the bigger your car, the more you should carry.